From the very first days of your lives, you have both set forth on a journey, which has led you to this moment. And now we stand here today for the purpose of fulfilling your desire to unite in marriage. It was love that brought you together for this moment to unite your destinies. Always remember how important your loving relationship is and cherish your love forever. The friendship that grows within your love is a harmony of understanding and support. Friendship in marriage is treating your life's partner with respect as your equal. It is realizing that there is no one else that you would rather be with than the one to whom you're married. And knowing that even if you disagree, and I promise you that you will, okay? <laughs> you will always be each other's closest and dearest friend. I know in my heart that God had a plan the whole time for Brian and Amanda. And, you know, before they were even born, God had this meeting together of these two loving and kind souls. It's, it's just a wonderful thing. Two beautiful people who I love both very, very, very much that got together. And I, you know, hopefully I'll be spending my whole life with them also. And that's that just makes my heart just feel so good. And I just thank, you know, I thank God for that. When we started putting together this ceremony, I gave the two of them a homework assignment. I asked them to write and tell me why they love each other. And so, Brian, before I ask you your vow to her, I'm going to read to you what Amanda wrote here. So here we go, buddy. Buckle up. She said, I love Brian because he brings a sense of calm to every situation. We balance each other out very well. When I'm anxious, he is steady. When he is stressed at work, we talk it out. We are always happiest when we are together. If we can make it through long distance, a pandemic, and family deaths, I'm certain that we can make it through anything together. All right, Amanda, I want you to know he is a gem because it's very rare that I have a groom who writes more than the bride, but here we go. He said, Amanda, and I've always had a wonderful relationship. Our relationship began in January of 2016, and each year we have grown a little closer. The first time I met Amanda, she was wearing a, a black dress and looked stunning. I remember thinking that my roommate deserved a high five for setting us up. Amanda is a very special person with a unique personality who supports the people in her life and loves them dearly. These characteristics, along with many others, are the reason that I love her and cannot wait to spend the rest of my life. As a dad, I've seen Amanda grow into such a magnificent woman. She's blossomed in high school and college, and certainly since she's met Brian, she's become a great woman that she is today. As you, Brian, and Amanda have pledged your vows, have consented to wed each other, and have consecrated this celebration by the virtue of the authority vested in me, under the laws of our beautiful state of Florida, I now have the wonderful privilege to pronounce you husband and wife together. Brian, you may kiss your beautiful bride. For the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Sullivan. The thing about what happened with Brian and Amanda, how the chance meeting was, is it had a lot to do with me. And you know the reason is this. Amanda got into FSU, and I told her, since I'm a Gator, I said, you are not going to FSU. That is the, that is the, there's no way you're going to, say, thank you, thank you. So anyway, she gets into Furman, which is like, you know, like five times as much as FSU. Then she ends up in Georgia, who's a bigger rival to Florida, and about, and about five times the money of FSU. So that's the bad news. I mean, I got to spend all this money to send her to the rival school. But the good news is she met Brian there, and it made it all worth it. It was worth every single penny. Let's get together.
know, I, I just gotta tell you, Brian, I, I, you know, I love you like a son. I respect your marriage, but you better not get pissed at me when my grandkids are wearing orange and blue. I can tell you that right now. So I just want to toast to our new couple, Mr. and Mrs. Sullivan. May God bless your marriage all the rest of the days of your life. Thank you very much. Everyone should let's show the world.